Hi, welcome to Citizen Survival Plan. Today we are going to talk about how to communicate a ham radio with a GMRS radio. This is done by simply typing in the frequencies of GMRS into a ham radio to communicate back and forth. So let's get into it. So this is a GMRS radio. This is a BTEC V2. And when you get a GMRS radio, it comes pre-programmed with the channels already in it, not like I'm programming it into that ham radio. All of these came like this, like all the GMRS channels are in here. This is simply just a chart showing the actual frequencies. On a ham radio, it shows you the frequency of the channel that, that you would be on the GMRS radios are kind of made for, you know, they're dummy proof. They're just, they just say the number of the channel, but these are actually the frequencies that you're transmitting on. It just doesn't display it. So this is the chart. And if you wanted to, you could program every one of the GMRS channels into a ham radio and use it as a GMRS radio. It wouldn't be an issue. Um, I do have my GMRS license. Uh, we sent our call tag earlier. Okay, so let's get some frequencies typed into this radio. Now, this is the Baofeng UV5RHP. All these are just a little bit different. This is the UV5R Pro, but all of them are identical. They all work the same. If your radio looks like this, this is how you program the frequencies into it. So let's say I want to communicate with a GMRS radio, and this is on channel 17, and I have some privacy tones put into this. So the privacy tones on this are 91.5 on the uh, receive, and the same for the transmit tone. So let's get a ham radio to connect up with some GMRS stuff. So here's how you program a radio. So again, this is on channel 17. This is not a programmed radio, so I'm gonna wanna go ahead and go to frequency mode, and let's look at this chart. This is channel 17 on the GMRS frequencies. Um, so we're gonna type this frequency in, except for the last number. The last number never gets typed in because it just won't accept it. So let's go. Frequency mode. So let's get channel 17 in. This is four, six, two, six, zero, zero. You see, I don't type the last number in. It's just the, the first six. So let's save this. We've got to hit menu. Now, this has a privacy tone on it. So let's go ahead and program. I already have the tone set because I was just doing a channel beforehand. But when you program it, you're going to want to hit menu on this and make sure that you go and choose the correct privacy tone and hit menu on it. And we're going to go up to transmit and again i was just programming some channels earlier so it's already set like that but you need to make sure you save the privacy tones before you save your channel into the system also you can choose your power mode and right now it's on mid and let's say i just want to when I go to that channel, I want it to be on high. So I'm gonna hit menu on TXP, and I'm gonna go the whole way to high, and hit menu to save. So let's go into channel mode and let's save this. So I got my privacy tones in, I got the power level that I want. I'm gonna scroll up to memory channel. I'm gonna hit menu, and let's say I want this to just be like a GMRS radio. So I'm gonna make this channel 17. I'm just gonna scroll up. To channel 17 Receiving and it saved so okay so let's go to channel mode. channel mode there's 17 in the corner and channel I have channel one. 1 and 2 plugged in on the GMRS spectrum two. here so this is one. channel 1 and 2 I just did before the video just because I was messing with this but let's go up to 17 because we just programmed two. that one. so here's channel 17 and our privacy tones are on so now I can take a GMRS radio on channel 17 and that ham radio is now receiving um, signals from your GMRS radio. Uh, one note I want to make, you technically aren't supposed to transmit on a ham radio on GMRS frequencies. Uh, the ham radio guys will get mad, um, but there's really no way for the FCC to know. And I'll admit, I transmit all the time on GMRS frequencies on these. I guess, uh, come and get me. <laughs> 
Okay, so one note I want to make about programming ham radios with the settings. Frequency mode. Um, let's just do a channel so I can show you what I'm talking about. Uh, let's do channel three. Four, Four six, six, two, six, six one, one, two. two. Okay? So we want to save this as channel three. A big consideration to make when you're programming Thank your you. ham radios is your squelch, your step, your power levels. Power. Uh, this is a lower channel, so we want this to be on low power so we can follow the rules. Um, Confirm. Whatever settings you set, the privacy tones, the band, let's channel say, bandwidth. let's make this narrow for channel three. Um, and my privacy tones, CT when bandwidth. I save them. Confirm. And we'll save the other one. Confirm. When I go to save this as channel 3, all of the settings I just typed in will Memory be channel. permanently saved as those settings. The power levels, the frequency, the privacy tones, everything will be saved like that. So whenever I turn this radio on to channel 3, I could restart this radio all day. It's frequency automatically going to go back to narrow band and low power and your privacy tones are going to be on there. So that's the nice thing about GMRS is I can go in and let's just say on channel 17, I can change squelch levels, all kinds of different stuff, even my privacy tones uh, on the fly. I don't have to re-save the channel as I do with a ham radio. Whatever you plugged in on the ham radio with those settings, it's going to save that channel with those settings. The GMRS is just a little bit easier to use because I can change a lot of those privacy tones, squelch, and power level uh, just on the fly. I don't have to worry about going in and resaving everything. One note I want to make about communicating on your ham radio to GMRS radios on those frequencies is I'm going to put a chart up and I want you to pay attention to the power requirements and the limitations for each channel and try to follow them if you're going to use a ham radio to communicate. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.